Hello everybody, my name is Minkaro and welcome to The Wolf Among Us. Now we're going to go and do some of our old fables reading. Yeah, so this is the first one we've got. Vivian's Story, The Girl with the Ribbon. Vivian was the very first to bear the curse of a purple ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually, she married a nice man, but he was constantly wondering about the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for him to leave it alone, one night while she was sleeping, he attempted to remove it. As he pulled on the edge of a string, Vivian woke and saw what her husband was doing. In a panic, she pulled away, preventing the ribbon's knot from being undone. Furious, she tried to express the severity of his actions, but her husband was unable to understand. She realised then that she couldn't trust him and decided to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of isolation to a risk of another betrayal. Yeah, we've seen what the uh, ribbon does when it comes off, so you can't blame her, can you? The Pudding and Pie Vivian and Georgie's Place Vivian and Georgie met during the exodus from the homelands and they helped, survive each, they helped each other survive the long journey to the mundane world. Upon their arrival however, they found it hard to make a decent living. With what little money they had, they opened the Pudding and Pie. Operating a strip club may not have been the most desirable occupation but they figured it was better to be in charge of a place like this than be forced through desperation to work at one. The Big Bad Wolf Big B's True Form Big B's True Form is that of a giant 8 foot tall wolf and it is awesome. In addition to his iconic huff and puff power he has also inherited other abilities from his father, the North Wind. For example, Big B is able to hold his breath for an abnormally long amount of time, making it impossible for him to drown. Mary's Loyalty Part of a job Bloody Mary began working for the Crooked Man many centuries ago. He promised her freedom to do as she pleased, as long as she agreed to act as his personal bodyguard and hitman. Because of a crooked man's power and influence, Mary never had to worry about getting caught by the authorities. She enjoys her job immensely and would defend the crooked man to the death, mostly because she finds it fun. Fable Town Justice When a criminal is captured in Fable Town, the traditional procedure is to hold a formal hearing in front of the community or concerned parties. However, exceptions are often made to expedite the process. In reality, there aren't any hard and fast rules for these types of situations, and the extent to which policies are upheld can depend on who is being charged. A new order. Snow White in charge. With Crane out of the picture, Mayor Cole has officially appointed Snow White as the Director of Operations and Deputy Mayor in his absence. Many would say that this promotion is a long time coming since she was instrumental in the establishment of Fable Town and personally ensured that many fables made it to the new world safely. She's also been doing the work of Deputy Mayor unofficially for years. Where is Mayor Cole? Did they mention that during the game? I don't remember that. Sheriff Bigby. After fleeing the homelands, Bigby Wolf spent many years wandering through Europe, with a fable colony quickly developing in a new world. Snow White and Feathertop tracked down the wolf and offered him passage to Fable Town. He agreed, and Snow cut him with a lichen fluffy stained knife to give the power to change into human form at will. Bigby became sheriff of Fable Town under King Cole's administration, 
but because of his violent past, many fables didn't trust him, and he was banned forever from ever setting foot on the farm. To this day, he struggles to redeem himself in the eyes of a community. And there we have it, that's the Fable Town fables. Now, there are some I've mentioned before that I haven't managed to get. Like that one, yes. Um, I'm not going to go back through and collect those, so hopefully there'll be somewhere else that you can read those. I haven't looked myself, so I can't say for sure. But thank you for watching, and again, thank you for watching the whole Wolf Among Us playthrough. Um, thank you for watching, take care, goodbye. Thank you.